Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 26. Yes, I got that number right because I was reviewing the comments right before I went live with this video, which means I was looking at my video and seeing it was episode number 25. I was also seeing that there were plenty of mixed opinions about the different designs I had created last time. No, like, outstanding, like, oh, do not, just do not, whatever you do, do not do those designs. Let's review them real fast, just a, a refresher for me as it is, as much as it is for you. Um, we had this heavy cruiser, and I like it a lot. I still like it a lot. I think that there was some interesting comments about people suggesting I raise the main caliber gun to 10 inches. It's funny, because if I had to predict anything before I sent off my video and, you know, awaited people's replies in the comments, or basically their comments about it. I was going to guess that people were going to suggest I move down to 8 inches because of the historical 8 inch guns typically used. Interesting to me that people were suggesting I move to the 10 inch guns, which are quality zero. Now the rationale from one person was we already have 10 inch guns on our Indicas and this would keep our, our caliber the same. That is the only reason I could think you would do it for role-playing purposes, because the, the replacing the gun turrets to get uh, the upgrade going from quality 0 to quality 1, if I'm not mistaken, it's not cheap. I wish I had an example. I, I do it anyway. I mean, it's, I think it's worth it, but it's just if you have an option of getting already quality 1 guns versus having to build that into your future plans, I would prefer to start with the quality one guns, and who wouldn't? Maybe, so now regarding this, what caliber guns is the rest of the world using? I think that that's something interesting we should try to take a look at. Um, let's see what other people are building for their, so 10 inch guns across the board for the British. Okay, that's simple enough. 10 inch guns across the board for that. Now, is it just because they're responding to my 10 inch guns? 10 inch guns across the board for the Italians. 10 inch guns across the board. There's, it's like that nobody has, even knows a different, okay, finally, thank goodness, Germany, finally. And then the Germans have built eight inch guns. Honestly, this makes me want to choose the nine inch guns even more just because we can be unique. And what have the Americans gone with? They've gone, damn it, they have gone with the nine inch guns. Okay, so now we're in an interesting situation where can't be unique. 10 inch guns are what we have chosen, what other people have for the most part chosen. Guess we're right back to, it doesn't really matter what we choose based on what the other people are choosing. So eight inch guns would be, in my opinion, okay, well actually let's go back. I closed this a little prematurely. Let's take a look at their armor now and try to just back out how big the guns we need to be. I mean, how big our guns need to be to penetrate. Six inch belt. That's really old, but four and a half, okay. Um, the old one, it'll be effectively like five inches or something like that, so. What the hell, this one's speed is 18. That's clearly not correct. 30 knots, thank you. Four inch belt. I'm not sure how accurate these are, but we can just say five inches for the British. Um, speed of 29, that's five inch belt, good. That's what I'm, what I think I'm gonna base my, oh, six inch belt on these, but these are also older, 1950. Man, were mine six inch? They were, huh? So um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but the AI does tend to design things, six inch, there it is. Uh, based on your designs. So if you are using a section belt, the AI, now this is at least urban legend and it appear, has always appeared to be true. I think I've seen a developer comment, not maybe not a developer, but a team comment or comment about the dev commenting some kind of information on the internet, which informed me this is true. So I will say that this is more just a, more than just a guess. I believe I've seen a comment confirming this, that the AI will try to design similar to what you have designed. And that is also, by the way, I think a clever solution that if you have a, a player who's a, a genius, the AI kind of copies them. And if you have a player who's, you know, on the other side and not a genius, 
the AI will pick up on the same mistakes that they might introduce. I like that. Let's go to Italy just to continue to get a four and a half uh, a feel for the field. Okay, I don't think it's three inches, but we'll just stick with five so far. Eight and a half, my goodness, that's 1914. Let's try this one. Five. Okay. So let's go back to our design now. Open up the temp. CA. There she is. And look at gun data against five inch belt. So we did 5.5, so this is actually perfect. We, we can just see what our guns are going to do against that already. So at a range of, for five inches, we're going to be penetrating it. Even with only nine inch guns, we're going to be penetrating it up to 14,000 yards. That's really good. And we're going to be penetrating it um, up to 12,000 yards, even if it's five and a half inch belt. Now, why armor thickness used here was six? Oh, because of the inclined belt. Huh. So if we go down to five, will it go down to 5.5? It did. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, so this is what we should, it's amazing. It's very effective. 13,000, so people with five and a half inch belt will penetrate actually up to 13,000, unless they're also using inclined belt, in which we're back to square one. Anyway, I think that we're in, I think we're in good shape with the nine inch guns. Ah, boy, boy, boy. And we don't have the top loading torpedoes yet, but we'll find a way to make those work. Um, we have a, at least a small amount of weight remaining that we can also work with maybe getting improved directors. Oh, ammunition. Ammunition is low. Let's just, okay, so what is this for? Thing for? Yeah, let's jump that up to <laughs> completely unintentionally, but Put this up to 140, which will make me feel a little bit better. I would like to get this up to 100. And, well, 140 is actually pretty good. That's probably about what we need. And all is okay. Oh my gosh, I just don't know. So it has really good dual purpose guns. It has room for the torpedoes. We have the two flow planes. We have a little bit of weight remaining. Oh, so when we go to the, when we get the torpedoes, we're planning to drop the light guns. Is that what we're trying? We're probably trying, going to drop these guns for the torpedoes. I assume that'll give us enough weight remaining. I think Trifler, didn't you say that you would just add them? 54, okay, good. So that, so it looks like we'll be, wait, did we get? this unlocked? We don't have this ability yet, do we? Good. Wait, yeah, there it is, but water tubes. So that, it's not even critical that we do, do these above water tubes. It's really not critical, but we'll definitely have enough weight remaining, I mean, um, positions remaining. We take a while this, and it looks like we will have, yeah, enough, because we can drop down the four inch guns as well. Okay, so let me just close the design, go back to it. I think we're gonna build this cruiser. And why is that happening over the battleship? Because I said, and I still think I believe that the difference that the technology will make generally for um, battleships the, is less effective when you already have quality, what do we have quality? Yeah. Well, we don't have quality one six inch. I, the reason why I'm gonna do this is because I believe torpedo um, defense is more important than anything else. As far as the defense goes, those battleships, if I'm sending them out, if they're being built in the practically in 1930 with only torpedo defense number two, I feel like I'm, I'm sending battleships with like huge vulnerabilities. It's like building a garbage chute into your moon sized <laughs> planet killer. I don't want to do that because just like in that movie, a single torpedo is enough to kill you at that point. I don't want to do that. So 
Why did I just close that? Well, I don't know. Good question. Let's open it back up. And let me give it a proper name. So give me a second. Okay, this will be the Nika. I don't know how to say this as it would be pronounced in either German or Hungarian. Uh, anyways, Nike is how I know it. By the way, is that the way the Greek god, this is supposed to be the Greek god, not the company, but it's the same, right? Having a, having a senior moment. Having a mental, mental lapse in the moment. And yet again, we just have to scan to make sure everything, make sure everything's okay. I think everything is. I'm feeling very good about this one. Coin Gift Tower <laughs> remains at three. I mean, honestly, I could drop this to 2.5 and that, would that make the, that will. Okay, so now this will give me the weight I need in order to actually put on those two triple turrets when I drop all the rest of the guns. I'm not sure if these should end up having AA. Oh, wait, yeah, we need to increase, so. I think we'll just go right up to 17,000. Does anything else change? Time of months, uh, monthly cost. Okay, so let's just go up to here so we can get everything. Um, I want this, 145 I could get. And then now I'm sure if I drop that and I can get those. Man, it's speed of 32. This thing, this is a really nice cruiser. Really nice. Yeah, so at this point, even when I add the torpedoes, I think I'll be able to keep some of my anti-aircraft armament. At least I'll be able to keep all my dual purpose guns. I like it. I really like it. We are going to build it. Okay, that's exciting. That's I haven't, whew, I haven't built a heavy cruiser in a long time. So we have, what, one month left on these two? Exactly one month. There they are. Nine cruisers have finished. Okay, we're going to have a lot of money compared to last month. Oh no, a political murder in the Balkans. That's me in my backyard. Uh, what is your advice? We will demand that the guilty are brought to justice, even at the risk of war. In fact, I don't think it's so unreasonable. Let's ask that we install our own judiciary system wherever that took place. We can govern them better than they can govern themselves. Nobody really cared. Okay, good. So this is what it would be like if Serbia just got totally screwed over. Now, I think I'm going to leave my two prince class. I think I'm going to leave them on active fleet. So, I th okay, so we can probably do reserve fleet for now, um, which will mean that they'll cost less, but they'll slowly get the crew quality up. And then we can turn to active later. Um, because those are new ships, we, I imagine now, can do a lot more mothballing. We just make sure everyone's at least reserved first, and then we can figure out who, who actually is going to get mothballed. Short cramped accommodation and mines. I believe that's what that stands for, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they shouldn't try to pack everything in here. Maybe ASW should be where the M for mines comes in. This is a, it's a bizarre thing to see SAM, but I believe that stands for short, A for cramped accommodations, and M meaning it has mines. I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Can you imagine if you also made it? I don't even know if this is possible. Is it in conflict with the cramped accommodations? But if you also made it a colonial thing? C or S A M C. <laughs> it's just madness. It's madness. Uh, let's see. So who to mothball? Well, the Indicas are soon. Well, the, we're going to leave them fine for now. There's still 25 knots and. For, I mean, these are coal firing, if I'm not mistaken. It's just insane that they're... Yeah, coal firing ships going 25 knots. It's really good. Now, who... Oh, you guys also have mines? Oh, did I just add... I just added some mines to their extra whatever. So let's get these guys all mothballed. 
That makes sense to me. The Mozarts are... You know, they're bizarre. They're bizarre because they're... Well, yeah, let's, let's mothball them, I think, but... It's just a little bit funny, because they're short range, crown tundra. They're gonna have to stay in the Mediterranean, so they're probably not that effective. We might need new light cruisers. For crying out loud, is this really all we have? Yeah. And if I remember, nobody else really has that many either. Yeah, okay, so we have 10. We have 10 and that's basically on par or much more than anybody else. This is a strange world with no light cruisers. Huh. Now, knowing that, how would we take advantage of that? Well, yeah, we already are. We would build more destroyers and we already have a ton. I think that we're way ahead on the destroyer count. It would be interesting, yeah, as so we have the second most destroyers, no, sorry, third most destroyers in the world. It's kind of the same thing as the light cruisers, honestly. We just have a lot of destroyers and a lot of light cruisers. We have a lot of escort ships. I, I think the game should be played, maybe the AI should be forced to do that a little bit more. Instead of building 12 battleships. So that they only have, they have less than one light cruiser per battleship. Doesn't make sense, right? I don't, that doesn't sound like it. Just doesn't seem like a very balanced, realistic navy, especially if it's the Royal Navy. They should have a lot of light cruisers. All that foreign station work. Okay. Anyways, we'll continue moving on. Um, mothball, 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 mothball. Yeah. So Northern Europe, those guys will have to stay there, but these in the Mediterranean can all be mothballed. More active fleet, more mothball, good. Everything's good there. I think we have enough. I should also check to make sure the time on everything, 1923, 1923, 1909, 1926 refit, 1926. Uh, we can probably just, there we go. So 1926, 1924, 1926 for all these, 1920. I'm not gonna change it, it's the light carrier. The Fürchten refit. Um, 1927. Yeah, we also, I do I need to make sure that everybody here is fine. Increased, 15 inch guns. Ah, torpedo defense one is just so bad. Okay, one again, 15 one, director, increased elevation, all that is good. Still don't think it's quite time to switch over to dual purpose type stuff. We'll leave the secondaries, because even though nobody has light cruisers, I guess they still have destroyers. I mean, they'll have some of those ships. Gives us something to do. Speed of only 24. Do we have to immediately refit these as well? Is that is that the ones? Are they the ones? No, yeah, we don't have quality one 16 inch guns. That would be pretty amazing, but... Oh, we do have dual purpose though. Hmm. Hmm. So we could go we could do this. Get those as dual purpose. Oh yeah, we can do this as well. She's gonna take down this number even more. Do I want to get rid of the light anti-aircraft guns or do I wanna actually even drop down the dual purpose guns by one? I think I might wanna do that and get all those back. I like this better. Dual purpose, it's mainly what I want on my escorts. I know that this is going to be the target. The only advantage of the dual purpose guns, okay, first of all, I should say that they're going to be effective against it. I mean, not that effective, but somewhat effective against aircraft coming in. 
um, when I'm defending against my against them attacking me myself. But the light anti-aircraft guns are probably going to be more effective about that. These won't kill any aircraft until after they've had a chance to drop, but I believe they still add to the, the difficulty of being targeted. And they do also, I think, have a good chance of uh, killing ships. I, mean, I think I'm going to do it this way. Drop their tertiary guns by one. Keep the light in. I think it, I dropped this by one, 45 to 44. Maybe. I don't, I don't even remember. Maybe not. Otherwise, this is a darn good ship. We don't have an improved director? Okay, well, back into the shop you go. And you as well. Get out of here. Go get yourself fixed up. Good time to do all these things since we're obviously not uh, in danger of going to war anytime soon. Hmm. I can it just, it's so funny to look down this list and see some ships still <laughs> still at a speed of 19. These guys have just got to go. In fact, I probably should have scrapped them. I know I keep saying I'm going to scrap them after the next war, and I'm definitely going to do that if they still are around, but I really want to build those cruisers instead. Um, let's go over bridal. What? Okay, this I read this wrong. I read this as the Kaiser, the German Kaiser, is concerned over unbridled German expansionism. Well, just check your own people. Well, wait, no, we are also under a Kaiser. Okay. Germany is a good, a good opponent for us next. We should ally with France to contain their aggression. I mean, that's the historical, you know, point of this is. Uh, Actually, that's, yeah. We were once enemies with France, horrible enemies. So were the British when they did this. Maybe there, there's something to be said about doing this option. The thing is, I think we can beat the Germans without the French as allies. I don't think we need the French as allies. What would they offer? Because we have beat the snot out of them. I guess they're, they're probably still better off than the Italians. It was the Italians that I just thoroughly wrecked, right? Or... Was it both? Oh my gosh, France has a lot of submarines. So that's actually pretty scary. And it might mean that this third choice is the best bet because I don't know how tensions will evolve. We need to strengthen our Navy so we can be sure of beating them. That's also interesting. I could sacrifice my prestige, which is already much higher than it needs to be in order to Gain an increase in budget. I don't, I don't really think I... I think that, to me, tension is actually more interesting than money at this point. We have the money we need. I'm going to go with this one. And by that, for those who aren't watching, I went with the one to raise tension. Yeah, that was a good jump in tension. That's good. I'm going to see if this dock size will move over 50,000 on its own. I really don't want to go to war with um, the United States, but we'll take the tension. 92. Is that what it was already? It says 10% change. Why does it say 10% change? I haven't changed a thing. Has there been any technology? So let me just save it and it should just take one more month just because I'm nervous that I did mess something up. Eight destroyers. Close to mastering enhanced pressure bottle. Fleet cruising, that's not important for us. Okay, so we go and rework the design again. It should be 92. Yeah. I think this time we're going to build it. And it did show 10% change again, so I don't know if there actually was any change. Okay, so it'll build the Nike, and then I have another name that I want to build. I believe, one sec, let me go get my list. Yes, indeed, we did have a request for a flanking, uh, I think it was a flanking battle cruiser, but since battle cruisers don't exist, this is pretty close to a battle cruiser. Von Helms Climb. Helms Deep, basically, I think. Uh, so we'll hit OK on this, and 
Do we have enough money for one more? We do, but I'm going to wait one more month. Shouldn't buy the rights for torpedo technology. Sure. Do I wait one more month? Germany, okay. All right, here we go, buckle up. Oh, underpowered, no good. But, you know, not unexpected playing as the Austro-Hungarians. That reminds me though, I don't know what reminded me, but so somebody mentioned I need to pick up some dive bombers. French dive bombers, it turns out. Are they the worst in the world? Hopefully not. Oh my god, they are. Italy or Russia? Well... <sighs> Let's go with these. Seventeen hundred. Okay, fine. Look at we don't have any freaking. If I'm not mistaken, we don't have a dive bomber. So you know, go whatever. Do whatever you want. Complain all you want, but we don't have a dive bomber. This is the only way we're able to get one, so this is what we're going to do. And it's it's not bad. It's not great. It's... Holy crap, it's bad. Well, I really hope that this gets us <laughs> to an, our own dive bomber very soon. Only one 250-pound bomb? I will never use this. I will never... I will not even field this. It is just obsolete the moment it arrives in our fleet. Had had I known that the medium bomb, I mean, it was grayed out that what the heavy bomb was, I believe, showed the medium bomb was 250. How are you going to have a dive bomber? How backwards is their industry? I mean, where's my torpedo bomber? Yeah, my torpedo bomber can carry a 250 pound, 250 pound bomb um, at 263, 263 nautical miles, it can go 263 nautical miles with a 250 pound bomb faster than this dive bomber, which can only take, I mean, I guess it may be medium bomb at medium load, but it can't take anything more than a 250 pound bomb going at less than half the distance. Oh my goodness, that's, that is brutal. All right, I'm gonna build one more. We're gonna build another. Let's see what the name is. Pergato, sure. Pergato, interesting name. Have I, I haven't had one of these, right? No, I mean, we haven't had very many heavy cruisers at all. And I think I updated the list after all the Indicas were taken and all that. Remember, we have scrapped some of these armored cruisers. Okay, moving on. That is interesting. So they still haven't unlocked multiple gun turrets for their light cruisers either. Although they did go with four or five inch dual purpose guns. That's, so they, had, they have dual purpose five inch guns. Enhanced pressure bottle, there gives us better torpedoes. We still have 2,500. Okay, better flying boat. And okay, now, can I design my own at this point? Still no. Well, I think we do need to design something Let's see what we have going on right now. A float plane scout. Is this really, are we still using my, this is the ridiculous float plane scout that's just been better than everything else we've ever been able to build, even though it's almost 10 years old. Okay, it's not quite five years old, but 
That was too much of an exaggeration. Let's try to build another one like that. Float plane scouts are going to become more important as soon as we start fielding those heavy cruisers. Um, I think that speed is still going to be my main requirement. And then reliability. It can't possibly be slower than this, right? Well, especially, I mean, I was thinking, should I choose range instead of speed? But reliability is really important, in my opinion, for float planes, just because they have that added difficulty of whether or not weather's going to knock one or two out um, from them being launched. I believe that happens. Okay. Russia, fine. A naval con. Uh, oh, okay. A naval conference in London has agreed to raise the displacement limit for light cruisers to 10,000 tons. So this is uh, light cruisers can be heavier. I thought for a second it might restrict my heavy cruisers. And I would say that I'm just not going to sign that agreement. I will not be part of that. Oh my gosh, they want to know if we're interested in buying it. Let's see it. My gosh, it's just, it's so stupid how this original 1923 design, it's still better. It's the same speed. Okay, one knot slower cruise speed, but that's, and much longer range better maneuverability, and worse bomb load. But you don't ever use that. Now, would the reliability be worse? That, I don't know. So we're just gonna say cancel there. Not that we really need to save that one little extra penny, but there's no reason to spend it. Is it time for me to all right now? We don't have torpedo defense yet. So let me go over to the research and just crank up damage control to high. Come on, we need that darn torpedo defense. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, it's right. Whoa, you don't say that it's faster than our fastest dive bomber. We have some bull crap for that. Socialist Party is doing well, and they want to reduce armament expenditure. Hmm. I think we'll meet with their leaders. I'm a reasonable person after all. Okay, I'm still increasing our money. That's why I keep thinking about maybe building another one. I think we gotta build another of these armored cruisers, or heavy cruisers. Okay, let's get another one. Takes us down to a nice even cash flow. Uh, French want to buy superimposed turrets for heavy cruisers. I think we'll do that. We'll take the money. Okay, purpose-built CVs. And quality negative 117-inch guns. 17-inch guns are my favorite guns in the game. Because they're the, high, the largest guns that you can get quality one for, that I'm aware of at least. It's a little more tricky to get that on the 80% technology rate. Just my experience. I don't know if that's like, you know, something that everyone else will also experience, but I don't think I got quality 117 inch guns in my last playthrough. Now, the purpose built CVs does change things a fair bit. Now we can actually do, I don't know, do we want it right away? The thing is, we have two, um, we have two carriers in our fleet right now that are kind of garbage, and I think we should get rid of those. Wow, so we still need the, do we still need the eight inch guns? Please say we don't. Port, 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 double. Okay, check. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, that's that's good. So we don't need to do the eight inch guns, it's just telling us we do. Good, so now we can design something from scratch. We don't have to, have, this, is, this is really good news. Okay, so let's, and they didn't do it here. That's nice to see that as well. So we're gonna want um, four inch guns, dual purpose for our secondaries. And we'll want six inch guns, I think, for our primaries. We'll clear this box though. We'll just get a couple, put them on the port side. And it looks like 
we'll put them very far forward midship and maybe one back. Oh, I did port. I'm gonna cancel that. I want to do starboard side because it should be the same side as the as the funnel in my opinion. Now, how does this look? Insufficient top side. That's fine. We can correct that. Ship is overweight. Too many secondary guns. Okay, good. That's fine. Those are all things that we can handle. We're in business now. Wow, this thing does not need to be that fast. In fact, I generally find that they shouldn't be that fast. Let's go down to 24, which is I think the minimum. Okay, we have insufficient topside space. We'll fix that too. Yeah, although these do need to have anti, oh my gosh, clear the torpedoes for crying out loud. But these do need to have torpedoes, or um, AA. Um, what if we just abandon the idea of secondaries and we just give ourselves, I think it's worse to do this, but let's find out. So let's go down to zero for secondaries, turret and turret top, put it 2.5 still, unfortunately, we don't want any mishaps. Ah, you know what? Yeah, no, we'll do it 2.5 still. No, we won't just do shielded gun mounts. Two and deck of two is actually more important. 2.5, I can do two and incline belt. Something like that. Conning tower of two. Torpedo defense two, wish I could increase that, but I can't. I'm not sure I'm gonna build this thing, but yeah, and these I think are deserving of the medium range. Now let's go down to four inch guns, dual purpose. I don't think we can do double turrets. Let's just test it out real fast. There, good. That very quickly corrected me. So there is some merit now and then choosing all the different starboard guns we can do. And how does that look? Gun allowance is a bit on the low side. I just don't think we're gonna need any, wait, wait, we don't have five inch dual purpose, now we don't. So that's the best we can do for now. This did clear topside weight for us. So we can do something like that. Um, now we have a lot of weight remaining. We can also add to, well, I mean, that's the main thing we want, which is aircraft. Wow, so this is much better. Now we're up to 71 aircraft. Hmm, 71 aircraft. I don't think we're there yet. Is it because we need to build bigger? Okay, this is okay with me. Does that get you to stop complaining? Okay, 130, they stopped complaining, that's fine. Let's go back over to here, let's increase this to 24. I think this is the actual limit for us right now. In which case we can get 79 aircraft. Let's try going up even one more. I think that's the limit. It's not. Okay, then up we go. I'll just keep getting more aircraft. All okay, you say. All right, well then let's go up to 26. Still available. Let's keep climbing. All right, what happens if we go up to 27? It's good. 28. Still okay. There we go, more than 28. Okay, so we found our limit. Which means we're actually gonna be able to get 95 aircraft. This is it, this is already an end game design, amazing. We've made it to the end game design for aircraft carriers. And we've done it in 1928 with 80% tech rate. That is insane. So what are the things that we might wanna improve on this? The speed is quite low. It's pretty cheap to, I mean, I, I could knock this down to like 94 and we can get up this up to 90, no, 25, but we actually can't. And honestly, it's so stupid because the one knot of speed is probably important, but I think I would prefer the aircraft over the speed. <clears throat> I'm not sure that's true. 
I almost take that back. And now we have more weight available here we can spend, which is expected. Okay, well it didn't get that much in, but we got, oh, and we need, we need room for AA directors. Well, we don't need room for it. Actually, we have room for it, but. So this is pretty minor in tombs. Yeah, look at the heavy anti-aircraft factor is only nine. It's just not that impressive. Not gonna intimidate too many people with that flak screen, but the screens are what should be putting up the flak field. These guys have to take care of like the incoming, you know, just basically point your machine guns, point your bow fours at them. Okay, so this is, I like we're getting there. I'm gonna put this as temp CA. So I think that I need to, or temp CV I should say. I think I need to think about it a little bit more. So no, don't design it yet, but it's it's looking pretty good. In the Mediterranean, you might actually want to put deck armor on. No, not this early though. Okay, so let's move on. That was, it was fun to design it, but Okay, wait, they want to offer us an, okay, we will take the offer at 10% discount. <clears throat> Von Habsburg. Okay, Von Habsburg it is. Even if I use that name, that's such a, oh, it's misspelled. Well, that's okay, we can rename it. <laughs> Germany appears to be considering naval rearmament program. The government asks your advice on how to react. We should condemn that. Um, we have armor development, which means gradual armor, quality improvement, 1% savings, unit machinery, which is great. Time to build a new set of destroyers. An improved medium bomber is fantastic. And I think that does automatically obsolete the other ones, right? Yeah. So at this point, this medium bomber is probably better than whatever this is. Um... Can I see the obsolete? Because you're gonna, oh, that one's question mark. I was gonna be, you're gonna be at least as good reliability as the other one. So we don't know what that one was though. Okay, we have a new full plane scout coming up. I really hope that that's all. So we honestly, we really, really need a new fighter as well. That's the next thing. Um, but this medium bomber is poor reliability. So there's really no downside to, um, yeah, there's no downside. We're just going to shelf this one. It's slower, it's less range, it's worse in every way. So that one becomes obsolete, and that cleans up my list a little bit, which makes me happy. Two flying boats right now. Looks like the top one has slightly longer range, the older one has slightly longer range. Um, same bomb load, same reliability. Kind of a coin toss between these two. And if it's a coin toss, I think I'm gonna go with the faster one with the slightly less range. Yeah. Just to keep things simple. And now we have it one of everything. I mean it also would be nice to have some a real dive bomber, but we can't we don't have that yet. Okay, so now it keeps complaining about, for example, Belfast not having enough units. Okay, the ones that don't have Max are Belfast and Limassol. Belfast and Limassol. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen a naval engagement in this area, so I'm gonna leave Belfast alone. And I don't, unfortunately, you can't like click and see the Okay, so what's our invasion range right now? I should say it's somewhere, 350. Okay, so 350 is actually about the distance of our flying boats, if I'm not mistaken, which means that this circle right here indicates the length that our flying boats can go, and they can actually get wherever they want. So Belfast could benefit from an additional group of flying boats. Let's go ahead and do that. So we got another 20 over there. Looks good. 
Um, Limassol. Is that over here? It is, okay. Since we're going up against Germany, I do actually see the merit in adding another group over there as well. If it wasn't, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't, but since it's Germany, there is some incentive for us to increase our capacity over there, our aircraft numbers. And man, 45 minutes has just kind of flown by. This has been a fun episode. It's always fun to design. We did design when we looked at the heavy cruiser and then we looked at, it won't be the carrier that we'd end up going with because now there'll be some weight savings and probably some other technological, technological advances. Hopefully, Torpedo Defense 3 by the time we actually get to building it. And we should probably not wait too long yeah, I mean we got the fifth, uh, we got the fifth um, heavy cruiser in. Can I rename this? If I'm not, if I'm not absolutely out of my mind, insane. I believe Habsburg is with a P. But I, I could stand to be corrected if that's not correct. Otherwise, I like getting the last one for a ten percent discount, but it basically has strangled our budget. We're not negative. And that is, in my opinion, that's positive because your budget is constantly growing. So you can kind of put yourself in the negative and then it'll rebound just over time. Just because generally over time, budgets, our tensions will increase. You will increase your budget. Like, I guess it's not even inflation because it's not like the price of ships are really going up. It's just the government just slowly feeds their naval, <laughs> their naval program more and more money. Anyway, I'm going to drop it here. So we'll catch you back for the next one. What is the plan for next time? Hopefully go to war with Germany, and we're gonna have to do some naval exercises, mobilize, all that kind of stuff. Not quite close enough yet for that, but we're getting there. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, take care.